We're trying to have the spirit, but it's not letting us have the spirit. Bah humbug. Not says me, but all of these people. Passengers in line for spirit flights that never took off. In the app, they don't send me the cancellation of the flight. Only delay, delay, delay. Hundreds of passengers standing in line in the upstairs portion of Terminal A at Bush, with others on their seats below it. They got us right here waiting because the flight that we're supposed to go to Honduras and Pedro Sula is already in the air. We haven't moved an inch. Um, and I just went back to go try to talk to somebody and I found a place in line that I was before. It's barely moved at all. Paid passengers looking to get home for the holidays. Now looking for answers. No, uh, zero. Zero. They don't talk with us. How much input is he, have you received as to what your status is? They just told us to wait in line. I haven't had any input of my status. I'm just following the line. Calls to spirit went unanswered. A Houston airport's system official confirmed there was an interruption in the airline's operations. But keep in mind, airlines are not the only ones causing delays. We've had to arrange the lane system on North Terminal Road. A $1.3 billion construction project at Bush Airport's International Terminal is causing traffic jams before even getting near the entrances to terminals C, D, and E. Not even two minutes in, and already we find ourselves stopping for traffic. Airports officials say if you're coming to the airports for any reason, give yourself extra time. That's why it's so important for people to build in at least an additional extra hour to their arrival time. Yeah, take the Santa Claus approach on Christmas Eve. Just give yourself extra time to get the job done. But look, behind me, you have all of these passengers here again in line at the Spirit Terminal. And then if you look over here at the desk here at Spirit, you just have a handful of workers and travelers have been telling me all day long this is one of the challenges is that they appear to be not properly staffed for the operation issues that they've been facing here all day long. And one final stat, how many people do they expect to travel through Bush Airport over the course of 19 days of holiday travel? 2.3 million passengers up until January the 3rd. At Bush, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.